I know times are tough, but I want you to know that help is on the way. Last week, I announced the nominations and staff for critical foreign policy and national security positions, a first-rate team that's going to keep us safe and secure. And today, I have the pleasure, I have the pleasure of announcing key nominations and appointments for the critical economic positions in the administration. A first-rate team that's going to get us through this ongoing economic crisis and help us build the economy back, not just build it back, but build it back better than it was before. A team that's tested and experienced. It includes groundbreaking Americans who come from different backgrounds, but who share my core vision for economic relief here in the United States of America. And given a fair shot and an equal chance, there's nothing, we all believe there's nothing beyond the capacity of the American people. Let's not forget who built this country. Working class and middle class people built this country, and unions built the middle class. And from the most unequal economic and job crisis in modern history, we can build a new American economy that works for all Americans, not just some, all. We need to act now, though, and we need to work together. You know, in the weeks since winning the election, Vice President Harris and I have uh, covered meetings with uh, a number of people. We convene meetings with labor leaders and CEOs at the same time, mayors and governors of both political parties. There's a consensus out there that as we battle the COVID-19 disease, we have to make sure that business and workers have the tools, resources, and guidance, and the health and safety standards to be able to operate safely. The goal is simple, to keep businesses and schools open safely. And for millions of Americans who have lost their jobs or hours and have had to claim unemployment, we have to deliver them immediate relief. That includes affordable health care for millions of people who have lost it and are in danger of losing it, child care, sick leave, family leave, so workers don't have to choose between work and family, relief from rent and student loans. We need to support small businesses and entrepreneurs who form the backbone of the communities that we live in, that are teetering on the edge. You know, there's an urgent need to fund state and cities so they can, the frontline workers on those jobs can stay in the jobs. You know, the founders are pretty smart. I, I could have gotten this lesson from the future Secretary of the Treasury. You know, there's a reason why all the states and localities have to have a balanced budget, but we're allowed federally to run a deficit in order to deal with crises and emergencies that we have in the past. And we have to keep vital public services running. We have to give lay, uh, aid to local and state governments to make sure they can have law enforcement officers, firefighters, educators, as we did in the Recovery Act of 2009.